Thank you for choosing Skywalker Trampolines, and welcome to the 14-foot round epic trampoline assembly video. Before assembly, make sure you have all the parts listed in the manual. We have provided all necessary tools and parts. We advise having a friend help you assemble your new trampoline. First, please register your product warranty at SkywalkerTrampolines.com. Grab one leg upright and one top tube with the spring holes on the top tube facing down and the socket on the leg upright facing out. Place the leg upright on the large end of this top tube. Now repeat this step with the remaining leg uprights and top tubes. Using two of the pieces assembled in the previous step, insert the small end of one top tube through the leg upright and into the large end of the other top tube. Repeat this step for the remaining frame pieces. You should end with six assembled frame pieces. Next, you will need the pre-assembled top tube sections, the leg braces, and the necessary provided hardware. Insert the leg brace into the leg upright of one of the top tube sections. Attach and tighten with the hardware provided. Repeat this step for the remaining five top tube sections. Flip each top tube section so it is supported by the legs. Attach two sections of the frame together and continue connecting the frame pieces together until your frame is fully assembled. Place your jump mat on the ground. Remember the warning labels are on the top side and the identification labels are on the bottom. Place the enclosure net on top of the jump mat. Align the warning label on the jump mat with the enclosure door on the net. Insert the V-ring located on the left of the warning label into the hole on the left side of the enclosure door. Then insert all remaining V-rings into their corresponding holes. Hook the smaller end of a spring into the V-ring on either side of the enclosure door. Using the spring tool, stretch the free end of the springs until they reach the fourth and fifth hole on one of the top tubes. Repeat the previous step on the opposite side of the trampoline. Hook the smaller end of the spring into the V-ring on either side of the warning label. Using the spring tool, stretch the free end of the springs until they reach the fourth and fifth hole on one of the top tubes. You should now have four springs attached. On the opposite sides of the enclosure door and warning label, place four springs directly to the left of the leg uprights. In order to ensure you are placing the springs into the correct V-rings of the jump mat, count the number of V-rings and spring holes from an already placed spring to make sure they are lining up. Next, place eight springs directly to the left of each remaining leg upright. Now. Place one spring directly to the left of each spring placed at a leg upright. Continue this pattern in a clockwise direction until all 96 springs have been placed. Place the frame pad on top of the springs. Adjust the frame pad so that two logos sit on either side of the enclosure door. Look under the trampoline and find the sleeves attached to the underside of the frame pad. Position each sleeve above a spring and then detach the spring from the frame. Slide the spring through the corresponding sleeve and reattach the spring to the frame. Next, find the straps that are attached to the underside of the frame pad. Position the inner straps so that one strap is threaded through a V-ring. Position the outer straps so that one strap is on each side of the frame. Now tie all of the straps into bows. For the next step, you will need the lower enclosure flex rods, connect tube, and upper enclosure flex rods. Connect a lower enclosure flex rod, connect tube, and upper enclosure flex rod. Repeat this step until all 12 enclosure rods are assembled. Insert the top end of the completed enclosure rods into the strap and triangular sleeve at the top of the enclosure net. Repeat this step to place the remaining enclosure rods into the straps and sleeves. Starting from the enclosure door, lift and insert the bottom of the enclosure rod into the bracket on the leg upright. Make sure the push pin is facing out so that it can easily pop into place. Repeat this step with all other enclosure rods, continuing in a clockwise direction. Congratulations on completing the assembly of your 14-foot round epic trampoline. We knew you could do it. For more information, please visit our website, skywalkertrampolines.com, or follow us on social media.